Well, good morning, guys. Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Today, we have a vehicle problem, and it's not with the Jeep Cherokee. The Trailhawk's just fine, no issues so far. But what we do have is problems with the car 2018 Chevy Malibu. Been a great car, gets great gas mileage. It has a turbo four cylinder in it, and the gas mileage is just awesome. And it rides good, and we really haven't had no problems with it. It needs a good cleaning right now. You have to excuse the, how dirty it is, but I'll get to that later. Uh, one problem we have with it is these store panels on, on the window. You can't see them good right now, but they're the adhesive's coming loose and there's a it looks bad inside and that's happened on both sides but the big problem we have right now that I have to fix is we have water getting in the trunk and it's been getting in there for a little while now and I thought it was coming around the window so I actually put liquid sealer down in there to try to seal that window and uh it ended up not being that. It still leaked. So I did some research and I found out on YouTube. And I appreciate the people that made the videos. But what's happening is this brake light right here. They didn't seal it right. And if you watch, I can actually see how that moved. It's loose. It's come loose. I guess vibration and stuff. And the fact that they didn't seal it right. So I'm gonna have to get inside and I'm gonna have to pop the, see if I can open this up. I'm gonna have to get on the inside and there's, I can't, there it is. I gotta pop that out. I gotta pop that out and try to lower this enough that I can get in there and uh, Take the nuts off the back of that or whatever's holding it on, pop the brake light up, put some good sealant in between that brake light and the roof, and then reinstall everything and I should have my leak fixed. So if you all have a Chevy Malibu like this and you're getting water in the trunk, this is the little culprit right here. They didn't seal around the hose that holds this on and as you can see how loose that is it's come loose so uh, I thought I'd just do a quick little video just in case someone else is dealing with the same issues and wonder where the heck the water is getting in the trunk because what happens is the water gets in the trunk goes down there where the spare tire is it saturates that uh, material that's in between the spare tire and the, the metal of the car and then it stinks like crazy. We actually had to throw that material away that goes underneath the spare tire. And uh, from what I understand, this is not something Chevrolet would fix, which we're not under warranty. Uh, I think the only, we have mechanical warranty left, but that's it. We Our bumper to bumper's gone. But other than that, the car's been a great car and it's a really good looking car. You know, when they changed the body style of the Malibu, I thought it was pretty slick, and uh, we went and got one. Uh, honestly, I, I hated the Malibu before they did this to the body style. But, I mean, it looks really good now. And this is what the wife drives all the time to work, and she loves it. But I'm going to try to fix the, uh, that leak. I'm going to try. I'm going to. And then we're going to wash it up real good and get it ready for her work week. But... Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot about it. If I run into problems, I'll, I'll film them. But basically, I, I showed you what I'm going to do. And uh, when I get that brake light off, I may take a picture or two and post it on this video. And maybe to help you all out. So, uh, like I said, 2018 Chevy Malibu, uh, water leaking in the trunk. This is going to be your fix. Thank you all. Okay, guys. I got that brake light off and I hope I can clean up this headliner because touching stuff I got it dirty 
Hopefully I clean it up. I try not to crank or crack, uh, uh, crank all this headliner so I can get it back up there nice and smooth. But you got to get up in there to get those uh, four nuts off the little boat that's holding that light on. And it is a pain in the butt. You got to you have a crick in your neck time you're done. And up here is what the top looks with the brake light off. And I said you've got four little bolts that hold that thing on and your electrical plug. Let me go to the other side. Your electrical plug is right here. And you just push that white thing down and unplug it. But I'm gonna clean this up. Now, around each of these hoses, they did have a little rubber washer, but they were deteriorated and all smashed out. So there wasn't still anything. So when it rained, water would come in here and then it rained, run along the headliner and down into the trunk is my only, only thing I can figure out. At least I hope that's how it's getting in because uh, I'm pretty sure it is. It's running, it's running in here running along the headliner and then down the panel that goes into the over the back seat and right in there is where it would get wet first and then it would run into the spare tire carrier so i'm gonna clean this up and then i'm gonna take some clear silicone or, or some black or whatever and i'm gonna put around each one of these hoses smear a little around these here these hoses and let it dry real good you see how high this is in fact, I have to look on the thing and make sure there's one over here for this one. But, but I'm going to seal that up real good. And let me take you inside and show you the light. Okay, guys, this is the brake light off the back of that car. These are what holds it on. And this is a rubber washer around it. And I did put them back on there, but I put sealing on with them. Now, these all come off. Well, I got two of them off pretty easy, but Ashley had to help me get these two because they wasn't even in the brake light. So I used some of this E6000 that Ashley had to glue these back in, to glue this washer back on. And on this end, this was actually from here to here was broke completely in two. And I didn't realize it until I started taking it off. And I didn't break it. It was already broke. So I glued it together with the E6000 and then I glued this boat or whatever you want to call this thing back in there. So I'm going to let that dry real good and then this should be able to be reused. Uh, if not, you know, we'll just have to get on line and order uh, another part. But uh, this is something that they know about and they're not fixing for the customer i've seen several youtube videos about this and uh this is something we're having to fix ourselves so if you all getting water in your trunk uh this is what you're gonna have to do and after i get all this done and put back together and we have a good rain i will get back on this video in the comments and let y'all know how this is doing if it fixed the problem okay guys you can see i got this third brake light back in place you can see where i glued it back together and sealed it i also went ahead and run a line of clear silicone in this crack along the back top side and i tried to leave the bottom open a little bit to where if something got underneath there it could still run out but uh it's on there nice and solid again and everything works and hopefully i've got that sealed to where nothing leaks in the trunk again it did rain last night but it didn't rain a whole lot but so far there is let's excuse my mess back here Oh, that just dropped in there. But so far, there's no water in the trunk. So hopefully, I've got this fixed. And uh, I did look this brake light up online. And the cheapest I could find one new 
was $86. So, you know, since that one works, and I don't like that you can see where it broke over there, but, uh, you know, it did glue back together. I did get all the things on the bottom of it glued back on, and they, they held up. And uh, just when you put that on, uh, with the silicone I use to make sure it don't leak, you don't have to tighten those nuts up real tight because that silicone, once it dries, you know, it's going to hold that on there too. So just be liberal with how tight you go on those nuts because you don't want to pull them things off of the bottom of the brake light. Or you don't want to break the plastic. So, you know, be aware when you tighten them not to over tighten. But like I said, with the added silicone that I put on there to make sure that it didn't leak around all the holes that's underneath that light, Plus the bead that I put in between, uh, that brake light's not going to go anywhere. And hopefully I won't have to take it off again unless I just get tired of looking at that brake and want to put a new one in. And, uh, but that's it, you know. Hopefully, like I said, it did rain last night. I haven't seen any water getting in the trunk so far. So hopefully that's done. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, please go click that subscribe button. Give us a big old thumbs up and share our videos help our channel grow and don't forget when we hit 1500 subscribers we're going to have a, a channel giveaway so stay tuned for that